All right, guys, here we go. Episode 53 this week play against LSU or who hash dealer number one in the nation. It's going to be a good game. Number one against number five. First game for me in conference. First game for him in conference, I'm pretty sure. We're looking pretty good overall. I mean, we're about the same um, stat wise, but he's like a 99 offense. He's just bad, bad, bad dude. <laughs> bad dude. Um, I get the, the ball first, driving pretty good. Third and six, throw it across the middle. That play worked earlier. Somehow I fit it over the top of those three guys. That time did not. Luckily, it wasn't picked. So I have to settle for a field goal on fourth and six. My kicker's got the leg for it, but I hook it a little bit to the left and miss it. I might have had that if that was if that was in in the goal post, but I missed it regardless. So end up end up missing my opportunity there. So he drives back down, second and seven, making some adjustments. He's been driving pretty good. Hits the guy on a little wide receiver screen and gets a pretty big gain, man. 19-yard gain puts him in the goal territory. Uh, stop him on first and goal. Stop him on second and goal. Third and goal. See if I can make a stand here again. Little play action pass and quarterback scramble. Doesn't see anybody open. We get him. Tackle him for for a sack for a loss. Make him go fourth and goal here, and he'll actually settle for a throw goal, which is which is nice to see. <laughs> I mean, sometimes sometimes you see people go for it on fourth down. Some people sometimes you don't. That early in the game, he takes his three points and is happy about it. Into the second quarter now. We're about three minutes in. He's been moving the ball really well, and I've been struggling. Play action again, and Washington drops the pick. It's like my, it's like my senior best corner on my team dropped the interception right there. So he's got another chance right now. Second and ten, go a little eye for him, or goal line. I don't know what that looks more like a goal line. But I'm gonna say eye for him. Drop back pass, throws it deep over the top, and that is caught. Washington, after dropping the pick, doesn't jump to even try to knock it down, and he scores. He's up ten to nothing now. <laughs> So about two minutes left in the second quarter, third and ten, trying to make something happen. Like I said, I've been struggling moving the ball. Drop back to pass, and those two guys ran into each other. I probably should have hit the slant across the middle, hit the wrong guy, and I get picked. Not good. The very next play, literally the very next play for him, first and ten. Um, he's moving moving some guys in motion, potentially. Yeah, there he goes. A uh, little, little in the round right there. Gets a decent gain. I mean, a lot more than he should have, because <laughs> I hit him like three times, but he gets a nice little gain there, a nice little nine-yard gain. A little under two minutes, drop back the pass, and hits the guy on the out route. Jackson just stops when I go for the hit stick, and the other guy misses, and he's off to the races, and I'm not catching him. He hits a huge play, takes advantage of the pick, and goes up 17 to nothing with about six seconds left in the half right here. Third and 11, trying to make something happen. I mean, I'm, I'm not in, a, in good spirits right now. I'm not happy by any means. Drop back the pass. Just lob it towards the sideline. I hit B, but for some reason, Schroeder catches it and gets out of bounds with one second left. So we're going to try the field goal again. <laughs> Hopefully it works. we got a five mile hour win behind us. And we almost get 100%, not quite. But the kick's up, and it is more than good. So we would have made it a while ago, but we missed it. We missed it. So we at the half, we're down 17-3, to three, about four about three minutes out of the out of the third quarter, third and eight, go for a slant across the middle, just short, fourth and one. I actually decided to go for it. I need points, and I'm having a hard time stopping him. So I'm going for it here. Try to get him the jump, no luck. Hand it off up the middle. Marshall, the backup running back, just gets the first down. Nice little two, three yard gain. And we're we're threatening here. Second and six, drop back and hit Marshall out of the backfield again. Um, to set us up for first and goal, trying to make something happen, trying to get on the board <laughs> other than a full goal. Third and goal, he stopped me twice already. He's getting his crowd into it. And change play. Don't change play. Run it to the outside, cut it back in for the touchdown. And we bring it within seven. We bring it within seven. This is the fourth quarter now. About three and a half minutes left. Second and eight. I got the ball back, trying to, trying to score again. Do a little inside zone read. Marshall with a huge gain for me right there. Gets me the first and goal. Which is what I wanted. <laughs> I want to get in the end zone again. Third and goal here. Trying to make something happen. And I go with a little pass play. I probably should have ran it here. I probably should have ran it, but tried to pass it. And I try to force it to RB, who's got four guys on his side. I probably should have hit X there. It's a fourth and goal. I have to go for it here. I don't have a choice. And I'm trying to hit uh, my tight end on the little out route. And luckily, it wasn't picked. Sadly for me, he drops it. And... Yeah, so just a heads up on this part right here. I turned um, strip ball and big hits on aggressive. Um, just a little tidbit of information there, <laughs> which I will absolutely never, ever, ever do again. I don't like that at all. 
Um, he hits a, a pretty big run right here after Fields waylays, waylays into him, waylays into him. I, I don't call a timeout. I'm trying to hold on to him just in case I get the ball back. If I stop him here, I'll probably call a timeout. Second and six. Um, he's milking as much clock as he can, which I don't blame him. I don't blame him whatsoever, man. Hold on to the hold on to the win. Run up the middle, and he breaks a tackle, and then he moves off his guy. Breaks a tackle, breaks a tackle, breaks a tackle, breaks a tackle, and then he's gone. <laughs> That's why I will never turn that on aggressive. He just broke like five tackles right there. It was a little ridiculous. I was controller was in the ground at that point. <laughs> I was not a happy camper. I'm just trying to save face now. Six seconds left. Second and ten. I've already almost on another interception. Drop back to pass. And somehow hit McBride, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take it the distance. I'm gonna get another score to make it somewhat, somewhat <laughs> presentable. So I end up losing LSU two years in a row. Lose 24 to 17. At least he's the number one team in the nation. And I got Ole Miss next week. Not gonna be not gonna be a pretty, pretty two games for me. <laughs> games around the country. The big one was the uh, Michigan State, who actually won. Looking at the stats, I had more passing yards. He had a lot more rushing yards, and it was just a good game, man. The players of the game was Hurd and Jones. He had. Fowler and Keith. Pretty good game. Good luck, LSU. We'll be right back with the advance. All right, just got done showing the highlights from my my butt whooping against LSU. <laughs> um, it was a lot worse off than what the score shows. I just got pretty much dominated the whole game. Uh, very good game for LSU. Good luck on your season. It's going to be a good one, man. His only loss last year was to Ole Miss, and Ole Miss win, won the national championship. So it's going to be a good, good year. Good year indeed. See, everybody else did. Um, Clemson ends up getting the win, 35-32, and Penn State is no longer in the dynasty. Um, he said last year in the offseason he just didn't know if he'd have time, so he doesn't have time anymore. He's already missed one week. So he's no longer in the dynasty. Sorry to see you go, man. You were a good dude, a good player. But uh, unfortunately, he is no longer in the dynasty. I've already sent the next guy on the list a message. I will move on to the second guy on the list and send him a message. Whoever replies first will get it. That's just how it's going to go. You got three days to reply, man. And then we're moving on to somebody else. Pitt ends up getting the win 38 28 against ECU. Auburn wins 34 7. Tulsa loses 51 27. Oh, guys. Calm down with those high scoring games, man. Cal didn't play again. Um, like I said before, he's uh, he's out visiting some colleges, so no, no big deal there. Um, as long as you play your game this weekend, you're still good. But if not this weekend, that will be strike number one. And you only get three strikes. And then you're out. Uh, Florida State ends up winning 49-10. ECU lost 38-28. UCLA wins 51-27. And Ole Miss wins 38-21. And just a heads up for all the users in the Dynasty. Um, if for some reason you were playing another user, like if, let's say me and LSU were playing, and something happened with the game or he, he had to go or I had to go and we couldn't finish the game the other user has the opportunity to finish the game and that score count and that's that's gonna be how it is if for some reason you reschedule and play the game again and let's say he was beating me and the next game I beat him there will be a two out of three rule so you will play the game one more time there is no if ands or buts about it that's just gonna be how it goes and if for some reason that's not how it goes I will throw out both scores and simulate the game. That's not fair for either user. And I know me personally, I have done it with with uh, the Italian a couple of times in our 2013 dynasty where we played each other and the game froze and we had to play each other again. And one person that was winning was no longer winning. So we played it a third time and that's just, that's just how it's gonna be. So all the users in the dynasty, just a heads up there. If for some reason, something happens with the connection and y'all replay it and the person that was winning previously loses you will play a third game or it will be simulated no questions just let me know what the score was who was winning and what the score was of the second game who was winning and whoever wins the third one that's uh gonna be how it is i gotta be gotta be a strict strict guy make sure everything is done because we have a lot of user games we do it on purpose to keep the, the dynasty more interesting, man. The user on user games are a lot more intense than the computer. Everybody can beat the computer besides me because I, I honestly can't. <laughs> I lost to Georgia last year because I couldn't make a field goal. So it just makes it a little bit more interesting. So we have to make sure the user games are are legit. That's just how it's going to be. So we're going to advance it. Enough with the 
the tough guy routine or advance it and we'll be we'll be right back all right just got done with the advance this week play against number three Ole Miss we end up dropping from number five to number nine hopefully I can get the win I haven't beat the Italian in any season so far <laughs> I've had it close it's been like a like a three-point game like last year I think he kicked a last second field goal for the win but I just can't can't pull it out man can't beat him hopefully this year will be the year um, LSU still number one they play University of Southern Miss, maybe. Maybe. Clemson plays North Carolina. Pitt has a bye week this week. Auburn plays Kentucky. Tulsa plays Virginia Tech. Cal plays Utah. Florida State plays Wake Forest. ECU plays Penn State? Yeah, I think that's what it was. They were going to play Penn State this year. UCLA plays Washington State. And Ole Miss plays myself. Check out the top 25. See where everybody's sitting. In the top 25, um, pretty much everything stayed the same except for IFL considerably. UCLA moved up a little bit. And Clemson is now ranked. They're number 25. Anybody else? Penn State dropped out from 21 to non-ranked. Nobody else yet. We probably got a couple of guys close. Check out the Heisman watch just to see who's up for that. We got Ford from UCLA. Ford. That's a different running back than it was last year. Wasn't it Pluto? I think it was Pluto. What happened to Pluto? Davis from Ole Miss. Penn State's running back. LSU's a beast of a running back that can break five tackles in one play. And Alabama's wide receiver. Alabama. That's weird. I figured it'd be another user. But I think that's that's going to be it, man. Um, we got another exciting week. Like I said, we've got 11. I'm inviting the next guy on the list to see if he's still interested. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.